Today we're going to be making three popular Starbucks drinks at home. We're going to be recreating the pink drink, the salted caramel cream cold brew, and an iced matcha latte at home. Before the video begins, I just want to chat really quick. I uploaded my first video last week of recreating Starbucks drinks at home, and I got such positive feedback in the comments, and it made me so happy because I originally made a video already. After looking it over, I was just like, you know what? Throw it away. Just throw away the whole video, so I did. Thank you so much for all your love and support. It really motivates me, and it just makes me so happy. I have always wanted to be a YouTuber ever since I was 10, 11 years old. One of my first channels exists on YouTube right now. My first video is from 2011, so... The pink drink. So I want to start off by saying that this isn't the traditional pink drink recipe. We're going to be using herbal iced tea, heavy cream, vanilla, stevia. And we're doing this because I feel like I haven't found a good copycat recipe for the pink drink. A few months back, someone told me to order this at Starbucks. An iced passion tea with coconut milk, two stevias, and a scoop of strawberry inclusions. That was supposed to be a healthy pink drink. People come in and ask for vanilla syrup, heavy cream to their pink drink. So I feel like these ingredients make sense. I got this herbal tea from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna see two tea bags for five minutes. And I'm choosing two because I kind of want it to be double the strength since we're gonna be adding some heavy cream to it. Then we're gonna be adding ice to it just to make it a small iced tea. Then add that to the shaker. Add a splash of heavy cream, a splash of vanilla syrup, some freeze dried strawberries. I got these from Trader Joe's and they're exactly identical to the ones at Starbucks. Shake. And once you pour it, you're gonna see that it looks exactly like the pink drink. Just a splash of heavy cream really gives this drink the creaminess and the color that we know to be the pink drink. But what I feel really makes this drink are the stevia packets. And I say that because I tried it without the stevia and it didn't really have too much flavor. I feel like the stevia just really gives it that sweetness that we know to be the pink drink. In this clip, you're gonna notice that I added the stevia afterwards, but feel free to add the stevia into the shaker with everything else. That's honestly it for this one. It's gonna take Take you around five to six minutes to make. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. Now the salted caramel cream cold brew. I don't know how to explain this drink. It's pretty much simple to make. You're just adding some syrup to cold brew, but then you're gonna need to foam up all the other ingredients, which for me, it's kind of a hard consistency to achieve. You obviously don't want the foam to be too thick and you don't want it to be too watery because then it just falls into the drink and it's not really foam sitting on top anymore. The only thing is that the recipe for the salted cream cold brew changed like three times over the past three years. The most recent way has vanilla syrup and caramel. You're gonna notice that I have a salted caramel flavor. I thought that was kind of convenient for this video, but using regular caramel would just be the best. I got this cold brew from Trader Joe's. At my Starbucks, we actually make cold brew concentrate. We add filtered water to the cold brew. It's a ratio of this much cold brew concentrate to that much water. So I thought we could just replicate that here at home, just to give it that more at-home Starbucks feel and that more 
maybe it, I don't know. But if you don't want to do this, you could just get regular cold brew. The steps here are to just do some vanilla syrup on the bottom, add your cold brew, some ice, and then leave room at the top. Then in a pitcher, we're going to be making the vanilla secret cold brew. In addition to that, we're going to be adding some caramel. Now at Starbucks, we add just half pumps of caramel to the foam. Then you're going to want to add some very fine salt. If you use too less of it, you can't really taste it in the foam, but add a couple pinches. Just do what feels right for you. Then we're going to use a milk frother and foam it. I'm just going to say really quickly that you don't have to have vanilla syrup to make this. An older recipe of the salted caramel cream cold brew just involved caramel syrup on the bottom, cold brew, and then the vanilla so you can cold foam with some salt in it. So I'm going to show you how I did it right now. An iced matcha latte with an alternative milk. This is gonna be so great because iced matcha lattes are super simple to make. But I am gonna say that we are gonna go through a few more steps than the Starbucks recipe card calls for. At Starbucks, we just add matcha powder to milk and ice in a shaker and then shake it and that's pretty much it. If you look on, say, social media and see how other people make their iced matcha lattes, you're gonna notice that people make kind of what I would call matcha shots. What we're gonna do is that. Right here I have a matcha tea mix from Trader Joe's. Just get some hot water and then add five tablespoons of this matcha to it. Mix it all together and... Mix it all together and let it cool off a bit. Maybe you can add an ice cube or two. As for the alternative milk, any milk really goes with matcha, I feel. Just grab your favorite milk. Again, I got this Oatly Barista Edition oat milk that we use at Starbucks. I got it from Whole Foods. All I did was put ice in this oat milk in a cup. I just left a little bit of room on top so that we can add in the matcha shot. I'm going to show you how I did it. Alright, that's it for this video. Let me know how I did and let me know what other drinks you would want to see. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.